Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Um, today what I got for you is um, I have a subscriber that wants to know how to program in a proximity tag on their Ademco Vista series uh, panel. Um, it could be ADT, it could be First Alert, it could be National Guardian, it could be um, just whatever menagerie of alarm companies out there that use the Vista panel okay you can put that onto these keypads as long as they are uh, safe pass capable okay um, I'm not sure if it says safe pass on all of the different ones brandings out there I'm trying to get the stupid thing to uh, focus for you all right um, but anyways as long as it's got this uh, safe pass thing and that's where you present your tag Oop, over here present the tag arms that percent the tag disarms it okay so that's one piece of equipment that you need is the, you gotta have a proximity um, tag capable keypad of course you need the proximity um, tag and then you're gonna need the installer code to get into the alarm panel all right um, let me just check my um, autofocus here and make sure it's on yeah it's on um, so you're going to need the installer code um, to get into the alarm panel. If you don't know what your installer code is for the alarm panel, I have other videos out there um, that'll show you how to uh, get into the main control board and extract that code so that you can um, do a lot of the programming yourself. All right. Other than having the alarm company get involved, um, you can add contacts on this thing, add wireless, add hard wire. You can do smoke detectors, whatever else. Once you get that installer code, you have control over the complete system and uh, you don't need your alarm company anymore. You can order all this stuff right off of Amazon, you know, probably 500 percent cheaper uh, than having an alarm company do it. You can do it yourself. Anyways, let's go into it. Uh, again, if you don't have your installer code, I have a video on how to do that. So, first first thing you got to do is you have to prep the main control board, okay? And what I mean by the main control board is it's not your keypad. It's the main control where all your wiring is, okay? So, the first thing you want to do is right here, find the battery and disconnect the red lead, all right? Next thing you want to do is locate terminal 1 which is way over here on the left hand side and remove the wire from terminal 1 sorry I got in your way there then you want to locate terminal 6 and most likely it's either a blue or green wire all right and you want to take off everything that's on terminal 6 leave no wires on terminal 6 because there could be um, depending on how many keypads you have, um, there could be like four or five wires under Terminal 6. Remove all of them. Okay? The next thing you want to do is you want to go back over here and plug in your battery. Then you want to go back up and you want to reattach the wire onto Terminal 1. All right? But leave all the wiring off of terminal 6. Now what you want to do is you want to go to your keypad. All right, let me get this uh, in position for you. You want to go to your keypad. And by the time you get to it, it, it may say the same thing as mine. Uh, busy standby, blah, 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 blah. But anyways, what you want to do is you want to hit the 1 and 3 at the very same time and hold it. All right. So now it'll say control address is 16. So all you want to do is just hit 16 again. 16. And then hit the star key. Voice chime, voice chime. Okay. Leave that alone. Just hit the star key. Now it says additional console. Right now it says no. You want to hit the number one for yes. All right. So it says yes. All right, see that? It did say no. If you hit the zero, it says no. You want to hit the one to make sure that it says additional con is yes. And then hit the star key. The keypad will go blank. Now what you want to do is you want to go back up to your control board and reattach. Let me see if I can get my camera to stay there. 
reattach all the wiring to terminal six. Okay, we're back on now. All right, so all the wiring is back on terminal six. Now, go back to your keypad. Now, what you want to do is you want to go into program. All right, I'm not going to go over how to get into program or anything like that. I, you're going to know how to do it anyways if you watch my other video. So I'm going to go into program, go into the main con, you know, control board program by hitting um, 8632100. Oh, I'm sorry. It's 6321800. I had to remember myself. So you hit the, the installer code and then hit 800 and that puts you in the program. Now you want to go to star 196. All right. That's keypad address 23 and that is your proximity tag right here. That is the address for it. So you want to hit 11. It goes beep, beep, beep. Then you want to get out of program by hitting star 99. Okay, so now we've got the proximity tag address set as 23 by going to the 196, all right? Now what you want to do is you want to program your new prox tag, all right? This is prox tag 1409. Now, when you take the prox tag out of this bag, Remember, this number belongs to this prox tag. Don't if you do like four prox tags, make sure you always associate that number with that particular prox tag because that is its four-digit code. I'm going to go over that a little bit further once we get you know further into this. All right. So now let's program this prox tag into the control system. Now. I don't know how many codes you have in your alarm system right now. Um, being a residential board, I doubt you have more than, you know, maybe five or six at most. But to, play, to be on the safe side so that you don't accidentally um, overwrite somebody's code, start your proximity tags at user number 20. All right? Just keep that in mind. Start your prox tags at user number 20. So let's add this prox tag and how you do that is again um, I have a video on there to show you how to add, delete, do guest codes and all that stuff. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a code. All right. So how you add a code is I've got to grab my book and actually refresh my memory. It's been a, it's been a little while. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to flash this on the screen just so that you can you can actually just uh, pause it. Um, what we're doing right up here is add a security code. All right. So that is to add a security code, you hit master code, eight, <coughs> the user number, which I'm going to put two zero for 20. And then, <coughs> excuse me. Then you don't you don't put in the four digit code, you actually present the tag. All right, let me go back to that page again, guys. So I, I'm I don't want to confuse you. All right, so what you're going to do is right here on this line. Follow this line. You want to put in the master code, the number eight two zero, and then it says new user code. Don't put in the user code. You present the tag. And it'll it'll uh, program. So let's do that. All right. So guys, this is how you uh, program in a a code. Oh boy, if I can get that to focus. We're using this top line right here. So what you do is you put in the master code, which my master code is one two three four. Yours could be I don't know what. But you got to have the master code. So you hit, I'm going to hit 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, the user number. Remember, I told you use 20. And then don't put in a security code. You want to present the tag to the keypad, to the keypad right here. You want to present the tag. 
All right. So you, I'm going to be putting in one, two, three, four, eight user number, which is two zero. And then I'm going to present the tag. All right. So I'm going to put that right down there so I can follow along with it. I, oh, I got my, I got my prox tag and I bumped you guys. So I got my prox tag. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Then we're going to hit eight. We're going to hit two zero. And then present the tag. Beep. Okay. So it accepted the tag. So now if I present the tag, I got a green ready light. I present the tag. It arms it. I present the tag. Armed. It disarms it. Ready to arm. Again, I present the tag. It arms it. I present armed. the tag. It disarms Disarmed. it. Ready to arm. All right. So now, say that you have tag number two. Well, no, I'm, I'm going to back up to tag this, the first tag anyways. So remember I said, make sure you associate this number for, with this specific tag, because this code will arm and disarm the system. All right. So if I go, what is it? 1409. 1409 away. 1409 oh, off. Disarmed. Ready to arm. So if you can't find your tag, that four digit code will arm and disarm the system. That's why I said make sure whoever you give this to, you give them that number too. Or write it down or whatever you got to do. All right. So now, say that you want to um, add another tag in. Hang on. Let me grab another tag. Uh, let's see if I got one here handy. Where are my tags? Where are my tags? I know I got one. Hang on, guys. I got one. Hey, I got one. This one is uh, 7126. So, again, um, I put that the other tag in position 20. So, I'm going to put this one in 21. So, you're going to go master code. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8. I'm going to hit 21, and I'm going to present the code. I mean, present the tag. So, I can arm it with, arm it with uh, 7126, and I'm going to disarm it with 1409. Arm it. Disarm it. And then, remember, take that code, give it to whoever you gave this tag to, because that is a viable code. 7126. 7126 away. 7126 off. Disarmed. Ready to arm. Alright, guys. I know that was just a bit confusing, but that is how you program in proximity tags into an Ademco Vista prox reading keypad. Questions, comment. I'm, I know there's going to be a lot of them. Question, comments down below. And also, guys, what I'm going to be doing is these these tags are pretty expensive. They're uh, like $18 or something like that on Amazon. Then you got to pay shipping and everything else. So you're going to be, be ending up with a $25 bill right there for one tag. I've got some tags coming in that I'm going to reprogram um, onto the Ademco uh, Vista frequency that those, uh, it's going to be the card. It's not going to be a tag to put on your belt. This is the cards I'm going to have you put it in your wallet. And those, those there, I'm going to be selling them um, with free shipping for five bucks a piece if you guys want it. And I'm going to show you how to program one too. I'm going to make another video. But they'll be for five dollars. All right. And that's going to be coming within the next couple of weeks. Um, with that, guys, question, comments, uh, ring the bell, subscribe, mm, all that good menagerie and bragerie, whatever. Have a good day, guys.